Good morning, and welcome to Maypac Library's Crafty Wednesday. I'm Miss Gale, and today we'll be learning about dot art. Now, if you haven't already, come by the library and you can pick a bag up that will have some of your supplies that um, will be needed. Okay, so if you open it up, we have, we'll be doing our dot art on shells. Okay, so you can pick up the bag, we'll have two shells in it. Right. And you can do dot art on rocks, paper, um, but today we're going to be doing on the shells. Uh, paintbrush and this um, little stick. And what that is, is just, um, it's a, actually from a Chinese restaurant, um, but it's clean. And um, what I like about the stick, it has two ends here. And this end is rounded nice and flat. And this end is a little bit smaller. And it's round and it's really perfect to do our dot art okay now what you need at home the bag is um a pencil and a a, a new pencil that has a nice flat eraser okay because we're going to be using that for our dot art okay um and acrylic paint any colors okay um the colors i'm using today you can use any different color that you'd like. It doesn't have to be the same colors. All right, so here we go. Here's our first shell we're gonna start with. And it's summer, so I wanna start with a nice bright color. So um, because they're laying dot art, you're laying the dots on top of each other, you wanna start maybe with a lighter color first. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start with a pink. And there's my acrylic, okay. And I, the lighter color I chose to go on top of that will be this yellow okay so we're working on that all right so i put my paint that i'm using today in a holder here it just makes it a little bit easier um okay you can put it on a paper plate put a little dab of color in each one actually that works really well the, the paper plates all right so i'm just gonna dip my paint brush into the pink and you don't need a lot of paint and just put a nice coat on it like that okay just like that. All right. All right. So this is not the dot part, okay? This is like the base, okay? You don't have to do that. You can start with the dot first, but for today, we're going to do that. Just paint the whole thing, whatever color you have. Today, I chose pink. Okay. And make sure you get the edge there. So it's all covered. All right, so once it's covered, that's not gonna do it. You're gonna leave it to dry, okay? So I'm gonna set it here just for a little bit until it dries. Now, I'm only gonna use one paintbrush because I have a little bit of water here. I'm gonna dip that in there so I can start with my other color. Now, included in your package are two seashells, okay? And um, so I'm gonna use the other one right now while that pink one is drying, okay. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna choose a few colors. I'm gonna start with this uh, yellow and I'm just gonna put it on this top part here. So same paintbrush, I have my yellow and I'm gonna paint just the end here like that, just a little bit. All right, okay, so just the end. And I'm also gonna paint a yellow just across the edge here, okay? So, just across the edge here. All right, so now you just have here, and then right at the edge here in the middle is blank right now. All right, so we're going to set that aside, dip our paintbrush. All right, take a paper towel, make sure that's clean. Now for the dot art. I'm going to start with my pencil, okay, and the eraser edge. Now I'm going to grab my pink seashell. Should be kind of dry. Now I'm going to do yellow dots on top of the pink. I think that will look good. 
So now what you want to do is just dip the tip, not the whole thing, just a little, I wish I could show you here, just, boop, just a dot kind of in there. Actually, I dipped in the wrong color. Okay, you can wipe it off. All right, just a dot on there, okay? Now watch how pretty this is gonna look. Then take it and just dot your seashell. Boop, right there, there's your dot. Let's see how many dots we can make. Two, three, about three, and then I wanna dip it again. All right, there we go. Put one there, put one there. This one, I'm not gonna do any kind of pattern right now. Uh, I'm just gonna have a little fun. This is our first one. I'm just gonna put those dots everywhere. I think it looks cool. Isn't that looking pretty already? Now remember, this is your piece of art. You can do anything you want, okay? Do a art is so much fun. No matter what you do, it's gonna look cool. Okay. See, it's almost done there. We're not done yet, but. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much covered, right? All right. That one needs to be done just a little bit. Right, you can go back sometimes so it needs a little bit more color okay so now we're going to let that dry because we're going to do another layer of color later okay so we're going to put that all right we're going to dip in the water and clean that off all right so now let's go back to where we had the little yellow all right now i want to put another color here and it's going to be a blue okay like an ocean blue i think that would look good but like I said, choose any color you want. And we're just gonna cover that middle part like that. Ooh, okay. That's pretty. And if you get a little into the yellow, that's fine. Okay, just trying to make it really colorful there. Now you don't have to paint fully your shell, you can just go right and do, do dots uh, right over that. Um, but that gives it a nice base. Okay, so we're gonna put that uh, to dry there and then dip your paintbrush in there, clean it off, get ready for the next color. You can just take your uh, shell here, let's say, and I have my um, pencil and you can just dip and let's say I want to go, I don't want to cover it. I just want to do my dots first. And which you can. All right. You can do that. And I'll show you kind of the difference on it. I just think sometimes when you do a base color underneath what you're doing, even if it's a, a rock or paper, the colors really come out more, but it's just really up to you, okay? So you can just take that. Um, you know what's fun about, you know, we can always find rocks, especially in Mayapac, right? There's rocks everywhere. So if, you, if you're having fun with this and you wanna do more, go outside and find some rocks and then put them in your garden after you're done and give them as gifts. All right, doesn't that look cool? Yeah, you could do that. Okay, we'll let that dry too. All right, so over here. And we'll dip again. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, so now we have that pink shell that had the yellow dots on it. Now, included in your kit that you pick up at the library, and you can pick it up outside in the adult garden. Um, as supplies last, it'll be out there every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 to 2. Our kickoff, um, you can pick them up as kickoff too as well. All right, so now the stick has two ends, a little bit bigger flat end and a smaller. Right now we're going to use the smaller one to put 
a color on top of the yellow. All right, so why I have blue out here, I think I'll use my blue again because I happen to have it here. And I think blue will look cool on yellow. So again, you're just gonna dip it a little bit and put it now right on top of the yellow like that. Can you see that? Just dab it, boop, and push it away. All right, dab it and push it away. All right, you should be able to get at least, let's see, one, two, three, three before you have to dip it again. All right, isn't that cool? Like I said, a lot of times after I do it, I put it down and I look at it, I'm like, hmm, let me add a little bit more to it. Okay. Actually, this, Miss Joan showed me this dot art. One day she came in, she, she does some nice work. And I was like, wow, how can I do that? And I said, well, that was pretty easy. And what I like about it, like I said, you can't really make a mistake. Dot, dot, dot. And one more. Okay, so it's done. I mean, it's not done. I think I might add a little bit something else to it, but we're gonna let that dry. There you go. All right, so we're gonna dip that. All right, and get back to the other shell that has the little yellow and blue in the middle. So now I wanna do is I'm gonna put some dots down where the yellow is. Hmm, now I can choose a pink would look nice with that or a blue, a darker blue maybe. So I'm gonna take the bigger end, all right, dip it into my dark blue and just at the yellow part of it, I'm gonna do that, okay? Dip, dip, dip. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Look at that. And if you want where this blue is, if you have a Sharpie, you can write someone's name, a happy birthday, and say, I made this specially for you. All right, you can put your own little touch on it. Where's my dots? All over there. Now, I wanna choose another color to go in there. And I want it to look different, so I'm gonna use the other end, the smaller end, okay? We'll just use a little bit smaller end. And maybe we'll use the pink to go in there. How's that sound? All right, and we'll put a bunch of little little, just a little pink on there, if you can see that, all right, all right. That might take a while there, because I chose the little side, all right, there you go, to go around there. Like I said, when you do this, um, there's no right or wrong. You can change. If you want it to match, say you have a room that's blue and gold, you could do that. If you're graduating, make a blue and gold one with 2020 on it. Or if you know somebody that's graduating, All right, look at that, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, now, the blue on this is probably a little bit dry, so what I'm gonna do is put even another layer. I'm gonna use that small little end again, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of my white and put it on top of the blue. I'm just gonna dab that in, and just put a little bit on top of that. All right. And as you see, the it dries pretty quick. 
I mean, this still is just a little bit wet, but not bad. All right. It doesn't take long to add a little. Look at that on there. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. Now, that first shell, the pink one, we did the yellow dots with the blue. Now I'm looking at them, hmm. Now there's some space in between. We could do something special in there too. Maybe smaller white dots in between, or you can use the bigger end, all right? Or I can put the, a darker blue in there. Maybe I think uh, the small white dots, since I was just working with that, and put them around each of the yellow. Yeah, let me just show you there, okay? So what you're gonna do is take the white and go around each one of the yellow dots with the blue in it. If you put them a little too close, you don't have room, that's okay. I have mine, so I'm them a little bit too close and just dotting maybe a little bit smaller. See how that looks kind of going around like that? Just a little bit around each one of them. And it really just depends on how big your shell is and how many yellow dots you put on there, how long this is going to take you. I'm gonna All right, it almost looks like little pearls going around. Little little pearls going around there. And the dots at the edge there, you might not want to do. I know I didn't leave myself a lot of room on them. Cuz every time I do this, I do just as something a little bit different. Okay, we're done. Look at that. It's pretty cool. A little my white is running, but looks neat, doesn't it? All right, so did this one today, and we did this one, and again, and oh, then we have this one that, and then you can add other stuff to that. Now remember, look around your house. You can dot paint with anything. Um, if you have a pin, to if you really want a small little paint droppings to go around, just a pin. Um, you can use anything that has a flat surface and you don't mind getting paint on it. Well, that's all for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next Wednesday. We'll have another craft. And again, if you haven't picked up your supplies yet, it's not too late. Come to the library and we will have it curbside for you. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for joining me.